made a video in a while and today I'm going to be taking you along with a really fun day in the life. Well, I hope it's going to be fun. Every day is fun here and every day is a little bit different. If you didn't know, I live alone in my condo. I rent it in Sayulita, Mexico and I work online, I surf, I do yoga. So I'm just going to take you along today and we'll see what we get into. We're going to start with going surfing. All right, this is the beach bag that we're packing to head down today. This is from Aloha Collection, I love it. I already have my yoga set in here to possibly do yoga after surfing. I have an extra bikini. I'm gonna wear this one to surf. And what else do I need? Okay, I changed my mind on the surf suit. I'm actually going with this long sleeve one. Not gonna lie, it's not the best for surfing because these little ties are really annoying when you lay on them, but I just kind of like tuck them into my boobs. And yeah, let's go to the beach. We've got my friends here, and it looks like some fun nights. Bye, Lilo. Yoga. The yoga studio is actually at a hotel, so I 
I showered in the hotel pool area so that I can get changed and be fresh for yoga. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know? And now we're getting changed in the bathroom. These little towels are a lifesaver. They pack down so small. Perfect for in the beach bag. Good girl. <laughs> Yoga and surfing is just the best way to start the day. I'm so happy. Come on, Lilo. <sighs> there are so many pla great places to get brunch in town and it is tempting, but I think I'm gonna go home and make breakfast. I usually do that and like, we'll go out for breakfast, you know, maybe twice a week. There's a market pop-up in the square today. This is new. Let's go for a little stroll. in the last like month about a month ago you would still be able to wear like a hoodie in the morning and now it's like so hot by midday it's crazy even in the morning it was so hot oh you know you dying <laughs> she's so cute <sighs> i think we're gonna make a smoothie before showering because i am so hungry it is like 12 30 and i haven't had anything to eat today Also, I literally bring my espresso machine and my Vitamix everywhere with me, if you didn't know. <laughs> it's just such a good investment because I feel like it only costs like, you know, $30 to check an extra bag. And then I have my Vitamix with me and I can make really good smoothies at home. So it's what works for me. Don't let anybody tell you that you have to, you know, travel a certain way or that you can't bring things. Why not bring everything? <laughs> Why not just move somewhere every couple months like me? that it is Saturday today so it's not really a work day but I did just sit on my laptop and do like an hour of emails or so so it is around I think like 1 30 right now and I'm gonna go down to the beach but I'm actually gonna shower first because my legs are so dry let me show you okay I don't know if you can tell but they're really gross and not at all like cute all right we are in my bathroom and I'm gonna show you guys the like smooth skin routine. This, oh, it's like fully empty. So we are gonna open a new one. This is the See in the Moon glow scrub. Oh my gosh, you're seeing like two views. This is so funny. 
Okay, anyway, this is the Sea and the Moon. It is called the Malibu Made Body Scrub. They're so good. So we're gonna use this, and then I use the scrub first, and then shave my legs, and then like rinse everything off, and literally like the most perfect skin you'll ever have. Right. After showering, we go in with the same brand, Sea and the Moon Malibu Made Glow Oil, I think it's called, yeah. It is so good, it's insane. Like, I'm not, this is not sponsored. I wish it was, I'm not at that level of YouTube. <laughs> But these products are just so insane. They like transformed my skin. It's wild. Oh, and it smells like vanilla. It's so nice if you don't want to like spray yourself with perfume. But then you go down to the beach and you're like, oh, I just smell like vanilla. It's so nice. I'm all ready for the beach. I actually just made myself two pieces of sourdough bread with two eggs on them. And I forgot to vlog it. So sorry about that. It was pretty good. Um, and I actually totally forgot that my brother is in town. He, him and his friends literally just got in today. So I'm gonna go meet them at the beach. I guess this isn't just a you and me spending the day together. So I'm sorry about that. Um, we're gonna go meet up with some friends. So let's head off to the beach and do that. I'm gonna leave Lilo at home. She's so tired from our big morning. She like hasn't even gotten up off the couch. So she has food and water and she'll be happy not walking in this heat because it is cooking outside. But this is the fit. I'm gonna just wear my Havaianas because they're the best. And yeah, we're gonna go to the beach. Let's do it. Got some beers because I'm the best sister ever. And I wanna say welcome to Mexico. All right, we're looking for a big group of boys that look like they're construction workers in Canada because that's what they are. And trust me, they look like it. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh my gosh. YouTube, this is my brother Mason. What's up, guys? Yeah, I like these. Are those Mayas? I just picked them up. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Pretty much the same thing. You guys are so cute. <laughs> This is the famous yeah. Zach. Zach, yeah. can you do a bit for us? Off the dome? Yeah, off the dome. <laughs> do a bit. <sighs> oh, we're at the beach, go. Habib, we are at the beach. We are going to make fuck on very nice girls. Super easy, too easy. Peace out. <laughs> Everybody go follow Zach. He's the OG influencer of the friend group. <laughs> oh. The boys are not thriving. Oh, I'm thriving. <laughs> oh. Hey, is it ceviche? Um, this is a tuna tostada, but it kind of looks like ceviche. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Let's go, Tal. Who are these tourists? <laughs> Hola. I just got home. It is six o'clock. They are a lot. <laughs> I love my brother and his friends are like my brothers, honestly. And then Zach has his girlfriend Maya here, which is so nice, but I just needed to come home, reset a little bit. I have my ice water and some banana bread and I'm just gonna chill here alone and watch sunset because I think I'm gonna meet up with them tonight. So I need to reset before that. I just finished reading Daisy Jones and the Six and it was so good the whole time I'm reading it. I'm like, oh my God, I, I can't wait to listen to this music. I did not know Daisy Jones and the Six was a fake band. I thought that this was like a non-fiction book. Like I had no idea it was fiction. It was a great read and I think I enjoyed it more thinking that it actually happened. But that is hilarious. Great book, totally recommend. But that is embarrassing. I really... Something bad about me is that I have a terrible taste in music. Like I don't know music at all. I don't know classic rock. Like clearly I, I am reading Daisy Jones and the Six and I'm like, yeah, that's a real band. Duh. Like, <laughs> it is so dark that you can't see because I just sat on my patio 
for the last two, three hours and I read an entire book. I read the prequel. Oh my God, why is this blurry? Hello. Hello. I read the prequel to The Last Mrs. Parrish and it was so good. So I had to read it all. I had to know how it ends, obviously. Reading is actually one of my favorite things. Like I used to love reading so much as a kid and I like have gotten back into it. Honestly, since getting my Kindle, like I used to read like, you know, a book every couple weeks and now I'm like reading like a book a day just because I have the Kindle and I can just download books. But I feel like, you know, they say like, to be happy as an adult, go back to like what you love doing as a kid. And reading was definitely something I loved to do as a kid. Just like being alone at home reading kind of trips me out because I know that that's like not what you're supposed to have fun doing as a 25 year old living in a party town in Mexico. But I was just thinking of like, today was like my perfect day. Surfing, yoga, beach, reading. Doesn't take much to make this girl happy. But that being said, I am starving. I don't have any food at my house. I just ate my like banana bread that I made yesterday. And like, I don't have anything. I don't even have an avocado. I was like, oh, I could just make some guacamole. So I do think I am gonna go into town and get some food and maybe I will meet up with Mason and his friends again. All right, this is the full fit. And I'm just gonna wear my Birkenstock Boston's. Let's go get some street tacos. That's honestly all I want right now. <laughs> Uneventful, all dressed up for nothing. I got some tacos and Mason texted me being like, yeah, everyone's asleep. We're just staying in. We might go out later though. I'm like, if I'm not going out right now at nine o'clock, I'm not going out at all. I'm thinking that they're gonna go out at like 12 or something. So I just had my tacos, got an ice cream on the way home, have a little soda water, special drinky drink. I'm not much of an alcohol girl, so. It's a non-alcoholic drinks for me. People ask why I have a two bedroom. Cause obviously Lilo needs her own bedroom. All right, babes, we are back in bed. That was a full start to finish day in the life. I love it. And now I'm gonna read another book. I'm gonna start another book and go to sleep. Thank you so much for spending the day with me. Please like, comment, subscribe. I also always answer my DMs on Instagram. So if you have anything about traveling or moving abroad that you wanna ask, I will definitely answer you. Love you, bye.